Okay, now there is one more um, subsurface scattering material in Corona, and that's uh, Corona skin material. And this one is designed to create realistic looking human skin. It works fine out of the box, but its parameters can be fine tuned too. So uh, we can keep this model because it's a human hand. And we should have a skin material set up somewhere here. Just let me find it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, and if I uh, apply it to my hand, hopefully it should look pretty realistic. Uh, and this is mainly useful for character design, uh, for for humans basically, and uh, those things can be usually downloaded online. So uh, once you download an archive, you can find things like uh, diffuse color, uh, reflectivity maps, uh, displacement in the archive, and then you just have to plug them uh, into your skin material. Where to plug them should be uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's not really uh, complex. So for example, uh, the diffuse color is plugged into the overall overall color slot. Um, reflectivity can be plugged into uh, reflection layer one or two because the Corona skin material has two layers. One is uh, intended for for the base um, reflectivity of the skin and the second one is some sort of wetness or oiliness that you have on skin. And then there are things like bump or displacement which uh, you can basically use to add detail to your um, to your objects, to your characters or body parts like in this example. Um, like I said, the settings here are pretty simple and self-explanatory, so it doesn't make sense to uh, go through all of them one by one. But the most important ones are subsurface scattering amount, which is similar to the one that you find in the Corona material, where you just decide how visible the subsurface scattering is. So if I lower it, it will just become uh, less translucent and more solid. And if I increase it, it will uh, become softer and let more light pass through the surface. And then there is radius scale, which uh, basically um, multiplies the distance which light can travel inside this object. So increasing it will uh, make the hand even more transparent or more translucent. And decreasing it will make the mm, effect more subtle. This is uh, similar to the radius that you have in uh, SSS mode in the Corona material. Then the, there are the different layers which have their own colors and intensities, reflections, opacity and displacement. So uh, similar settings to the Corona material. Uh, and of course this skin material doesn't have to be used uh, purely for human skin, it can be also used for uh, other materials which uh, are uh, letting some light pass through it uh, and have some layers inside and that could be some kind of rubber or plastic. So uh, we have another material set up here and I can just apply it to uh, my hand and you will see that it also works fine and I can adjust the colors of, uh, of the surface and of the different layers. Um, and you can get some, some sort of synthetic materials this way. That's the end of this part. In the next one, we will look at the Corona Volume material.